President Erdogan say before he left this trip that he wanted to leave the past behind. But this visit is also important to Chancellor Merkel as well, isn't it? Well, diplomatic relations between Turkey and Germany are incredibly frayed at the moment, but the will seems to be there on both sides to at least making a first step towards improving them. Turkey does re remain an important NATO ally and a trade and investment partner for Germany, and also Merkel needs to keep Erdogan on side to maintain quite a controversial migrant deal. But there is pressure on the German Chancellor to use the opportunity of having Erdogan in Germany to really push the human rights issue. Erdogan going into the meeting with the Chancellor slightly on the back foot as the, the economy in Turkey considers to, continues to struggle, he will be looking to Germany and other European allies for financial support. Germany and Turkey also, of course, inextricably linked by the fact that the largest population of Turks outside of Turkey is here in Germany. Over three million Turks live here, two-thirds of whom uh, tend to vote in favour of Erdogan. So this is something that bonds the two countries and uh, why diplomatic ties between them are so important. And as protests are continuing today, uh, one of the protests uh, that held today will be by Reporters Without Borders, and I am uh, joined by Christian Mir, who is the executive director of Reporters Without Borders in Germany. Now, uh, Mr. Mir, we are in front of some of your uh, campaign posters for, for your today's protest. What is the message behind these protests that you are trying to send to Mr. Erdogan and indeed the message of the protest today you will be hosting? Well, we want to send a strong message with our Fongs for Freedoms campaign, which we have been launching yesterday, sending out a message that Fongs of Forbidden Newspapers are ambassadors for press freedom. We are reusing, reviving forbidden Fongs for sending a message here to Erdogan that, um, that journalism is not a crime and that there cannot be a normalization of German-Turkish relationships without a, an improvement in, in terms of freedom of the press in Turkey. And uh, Erdogan actually released some uh, German-Turkish journalists from prison, most recently Ms. Um, Tolu. Is this um, a change in stance, perhaps, from the Turkish leader, or do you think this was tactical ahead of his trip to Germany? Unfortunately, not at all. It was only a diplomatic gest gesture towards, towards Germany, because Turkey has an in interest in an improvement of the German-Turkish relationships, but the situation and the working conditions for Turkish journalists have not improved at all. And you actually met with President Steinmeier ahead of um, the fact that he will be hosting Erdogan in the uh, Bellevue Palace for this elaborate state dinner. Now, of course, there's a lot of pressure on Steinmeier and also on Angela Merkel to bring up the human rights um, issue in Turkey. And what did the president actually tell you that he plans to discuss with Erdogan? Well, I mean, the president himself, after after the meeting publicly, told that he will give a priority to freedom of the press and he will, he will raise the issue of imprisoned journalists. And so let's see what comes out today of the, the meeting and of the public statements.